Howdy, folks. Welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update brought to you by ARK.io, the simplest way to blockchain. Hey, Brent, I noticed uh, Mar uh, tr crypto's blew past market cap past $2 trillion today. Yep, yep. Did, well, did, did Bitcoin carry them? Well, no, Bitcoin didn't carry them. You know, in fact, they, they backed off just a little bit, according to this, at a million nine twenty four five. So, uh, but uh, let's go ahead and get started with it. Bitcoin's off eight ninety eight. That's at fifty eight two forty seven. And then you look at a quick chart of that, and you know what? It's nice big move there. It's digesting it with a little bit of choppiness. It's going to be interesting to see if there's another leg up, or if we do a little bit down and and catch a little rest from here. Uh, the overall market is up excuse me, is off 0.11%, where Bitcoin is off 1.5%. So mm -hmm. basically, mathematically, that means that the altcoins are doing real well today, real well. Uh, the Dow's off 96. Of course, you know, I've been telling you that to me, that's looking kind of long in the tooth. Um, and you'd look at those last three candles on the volume, and it's rising with declining, declining volume. Mm -hmm. You don't like to see that. That means it's running out of gas. Uh, it's like a kid on a date that's running out of money. Um, so, uh, look at the S and P it's off 397 at 4,073 and the S and P again, you know, it's kind of chugging along. Same thing, diminished volume there toward the end. NDX is off 19 and look at it. Oh, I've lost the volume on that one. Do you notice it's made a dip trying to come back? I'm not sure it's going to make a new high. And of course, you know, we have Bo looking for some, for some downward action coming here in the next uh, week or two. Gold's up 15. So, you know, uh, gold, I told you it was down. And I told you with that candle just before this one with the, uh, with the long tail, I said, man, it really needs to kind of go up from here. And so far, gold is listening to me uh, from <laughs> my lips to God's ear. But uh, silver up 29, that puts silver at 25.16. You know, different chart on silver. Silver's never really uh, come back the way gold has, and mainly due to the fact that its industrial use out there makes people interested in it. Oh, West Texas Earl, 59.26, that's up 48 cents. Uh, we finally got our, our futures back, the December 21 and the December 22, both of them down 13.20, while Bitcoin itself is down 8.66. So we're taking off a little bit of the premium. Not quite as certain that we got another leg going up. Look at this. Ethereum is up 1282. Polkadot's down two and a half. XRP is up uh, 13 cents. Uh, and, you know, and that's it, a buck. Mm -hmm. So XRP is back to a buck. So the SEC, ha <laughs> ha, you did not kill them. Um, Cardano is up three cents. Litecoin, shout out to John Kim and, and all the Litecoin folks. Uh, many of whom we love, Litecoin, Lisa, and on and on and on. 240.77. Uh, uh, John Kim's going to show us another view from his newly uh, acquired uh, Living Digs. Uh, CoinLink is up a buck eighty. Uh, Theta is up uh, about oh about half a cent. So <laughs> all in all, the all coins, you know, the the crypto market is spreading out. The real market's contracting. Hey, hey, so let me ask you a question. Run back up there where you have your futures twenty one and and. 22, right. Bitcoin. So, and they've been in tandem, literally. They didn't used to be, but they've no. been in tandem for no. a couple of weeks now. And what, what, causes, what causes that? Yeah. No, what what happens is, is the people that use these things to hedge, yeah. uh, a lot of times they've got some of this one and they're selling some of that one. And so it's amazing how that sometimes they'll kind of get in lockstep, which is what they're doing right now. But believe me, after a while they're bust out. And and it's literally it's about it's been about a three thousand point difference yeah, yeah. between the two of them for a month or so now. Yeah. And so uh, sometimes that's just kind of how it trades. Yeah, kind of kind of interesting. So uh, listen to this, and you know it goes back to what you're showing on the charts there right. and everything else. Four reasons altcoin season 2021 has officially started. Right. And, and, and if you look at them, and it makes sense, if you remember before they all took the big dive and all oh, that yeah. stuff, oh, yeah. Bitcoin was actually just below 50% of the entire market cap. Yes. And then it blew up to yep. like 70, yep. 75%. Yep. Yep. It's now coming back into line and the altcoins are running. Sure. And, you know, and so, I mean, there's data and everything that, that supports that. But folks, what this tells you, just like Grayscale, we talked about this a few weeks ago. There, these funds are now diversifying into other cryptocurrencies that they see, and not just weighing it all in Bitcoin. Sure. And what it is is, is it's the maturation of the market. You mm -hmm. know, just like just like with our Carnomaly. You know, that is that is a real live deal. 
Yeah. You know, they've got great things coming down the pike. I'm watching what I'm saying because I know stuff I'm not supposed to be publicly admitting <laughs> to. Um, and so, you know, a lot of things are coming down the road that this is going to be a real deal. Yeah. yeah. And you're, you're going to have digitization of titles and all this other kind of stuff. You know, in bygone years, everything kind of just went with Bitcoin because their story was we're with Bitcoin. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Now you've got a lot of things that have their own use case. Yeah. And, you know, Litecoin's got a good use case and Ethereum's got a great use case, and we're flushing out the market, you got to get in. Absolutely. So so that Bitcoin dominance is a, at a one-year low. So it shows you kind of the readjustment of this stuff, which is actually healthy for the entire marketplace. Sure. You want to see it. 2.52 in bearish Bitcoin options signal pro traders are hedging their bets. Sure. And that's kind of interesting as well because, you know, especially you listen to Poe and some of these, uh, Bo and some of these other folks, and they're saying, you know, the moon over 100,000 this year, which I think it'll hit it given all the financial things. And then we have our partners like Hart who's saying, oh, yeah. okay, we're going to watch the market and it's going to do this yeah. and crypto is going to so uh, folks these uh, prognosticators are like weathermen half of them are always <laughs> right you know? well and you know here's the thing it would not be out of the realm of good taste for bitcoin to consolidate some of its moves sure. but you know when you get out into the altcoins you know getting a 1x a 2x a 3x is is a lot easier especially if they have a good use case yeah um so you know i'd be looking for some of that action absolutely folks thanks for tuning in we'll see you back here again tomorrow Thank you.